everybody what's up this is daddy t bringing you another video um, today this video is going to cover corn parking in particular a uh, specific type of corn parking uh, the plate type corn parking i'll have other videos on the other types of uh, corn parkings but let's break this down in a few pieces first off let's go over the sign when you first uh, approach a coin park um, you'll see most definitely the sign now you notice that here it says 1,000 yen, right? The 1,000 yen is in, is in bold and it's um, enlarged so that when people drive by they can see it. But what does it mean exactly? Well, the 1,000 yen is basically saying that that is the cap for a 24 hour period that you will be charged, which is very important. And it's actually very good actually. Some places don't have caps. Some places you'll be charged <laughs> as much as they want to charge you. I've actually been charged uh, 6,000 yen one time. I left my car at a coin park without a cap um, for, I don't know, six, seven hours, a long time ago. And that was because that particular coin parking spot served for um, a spot for an eye clinic. And so places like dental clinics, eye clinics, all types of clinics and whatnot out in town, um, they'll have, uh, they'll work in tandem with coin parking services where you you can get your parking validated from them and so with that being said they don't have a cap some places like that don't have caps so you, you charge whatever right so this is good and you see down here it says 60 and it has this sign right here this sign right here is, is means minutes so 60 minutes 200 yen so um, 200 yen for every 60 minutes okay um, between 12 and 12 for a 20 hour period but what that also means is you'll get one the 1,000 yen um, all day doesn't actually kick in until about two hours till about two hours okay um, and then you'll just after that you just be charged 1,000 yen and so you can pick it up at 8 o'clock or whatever hey I'm just charged 1,000 yen I parked here for like seven hours right so that's fine you can also see that um, they take a T-point card if you had it, other types of cards um, to earn points and whatnot, so that's cool. Next, let's go around and look at the sign here. Now, if you notice, you'll see this white kanji sign. The white kanji or the green kanji sign on these point parks mean that there is at least one open spot to park at. Red, that means it's entirely full. You don't have to know the kanji. All you have to know is that if it's red, it is completely full. If it's white or green, it at least has one spot open. Now, Repark is a big company, but I think 24 times is probably the biggest coin parking franchise in Japan. They are all over the place. As a matter of fact, there is one right down the block that is undercutting these guys. So. Um, there you have it, uh, coin parking. Now let's break down. When you approach the machine, you'll see multiple buttons, right? Notice these colorful buttons on the side. A lot of kanji, don't worry about it. I'll tell you what they mean. So, first off, this one right here means payment. This is the pay. The one under here means receipt. Uh, get your receipt, you know. I don't know if you have to do a travel plane or something like that, you know. You want a receipt, there you go. This one right here is to validate your parking. Remember what I talked about? You know, parking at a, a clinic or something like that out in town. You want to show that you validated your parking. This is what that button is for. This button right here, this red button says Torikeshi or cancel. This gray button or white button says registration. I believe that means to um, register for a monthly spot here. But yeah, I don't see anyone really doing that. Well, that's your situation. Anyone's situation is different. But the important takeaway from this is when you do park, your parking spot will be assigned a number. You'll, you'll be parking number two, three, four, five, six, seven. It could go all the way up to 10 sometimes, depending on how large the lot is, right? So you're going to come over to this machine, you're going to put in your number. Say my number is two. Hit two, and I hit the payment button. Okay, and then with that, you can pay with 1,000 yen bills. I don't think they take uh, um, 
bills larger than 1,000 yen. So just 10 yen bills. You can't use your Ichiman yen bills, your 10,000 yen, or your 5,000 yen bills, okay? It also says that they take cards. You can also put your, remember we talked about a T-point card? If you have a T-point card, you can earn some, some points here. If you have a parking slip card, you can put that in there for validation. You put This takes all types of cards, right? Um, but even though it says Visa here, has the Visa logo, yeah, I'm, I'm knocking on Visa specifically, uh, Japan has its own Visa. It's not like America's Visa. The same company, but for some reason, um, some of our cards, Western Visa cards, don't work for certain Japanese services, and I'm certain that this is one of them. Drug stores is definitely another one um, where they will not work, so be wary of that. So there you have it. All you have to do is park your car right in between this device here and over it. You have to actually go all, all the way over it and try to hit the, well don't hit, but back up to that um, stopper right there. And then the plate will rise after about two minutes of inactivity. And then after that, you'll start being charged. Now, when after you pay, the plate will lower, and you have about, I'd say about five to 10 minutes um, to leave before the plate raises again. And yes, please check that the plate lowers um, before you drive off, because I've <laughs> known guys that actually paid for a different spot by accident when they were, you know, they weren't thinking, and they paid for the wrong spot, and they thought that they paid, and they just drove off, and bam, like, oh, what happened, no. So, yeah, don't put yourself in that situation. So that's how the plate type uh, park coin parking works. I believe this particular spot right here is for a compact car. It's this, at least this is for a compact vehicle. If you don't see this kanji, then that means it's for regular sized cars like regular sized sedans and whatnot. Okay. So look out for this sign also. You'll see it at like homes, Shimachi homes or malls and whatnot. Anywhere really. Um, signs for compact vehicles. This is a little extra tip for you. I'll also make a video on the other different types of parking, uh, swing arm type, swing arm types, and camera type parking. But this is the plate raised uh, point parking video. I hope you liked it. I hope it's informative. Like, subscribe, do what you gotta do. Peace, love, and hair grease. Later.